What is up YouTube retro bro here and in the spirit of Columbus Day and in the spirit of exploration We're going to explore a few games on Steam. So our first game here is coffee Surprisingly, this is supposed to be an action-adventure horror. So I was like, what is this? A game about coffee that's supposed to be a horror and I read through the description and it was all like in a world where Dunkin Donuts is gone and everyone is struggling because they are caffeine deprived. People are working and mining to get minerals to make artificial coffee. So I was like, okay, that sounds kind of funny that people are drugged up on caffeine to the point that they actually needed to live. And I was like, though this is supposed to be a horror game, I'll probably get a few laughs out of it. And so far, I must tell you, this game has been terrible. First off, let's talk about that thing riding by me. I'm not exactly sure what it does. Like, it just floats around and it has lights. So maybe it's supposed to just make these darker sections lighter to make it easier to see or something. But it really doesn't do much of anything. Also, what you saw in the last clip, you saw, like, those little notes. It's like notes from your girlfriend, and it kind of tells you where to go. But it still doesn't tell you how to do anything within the game. So you're trying to do, like, a lot of figuring out. Now, what I did find out is when you die in this game, then it actually comes up with a screen that tells you what the buttons are and what you're supposed to do, which is stupid. So anyway, we're now in the kitchen. Now, according to the game, there is a button that allows you to interact with things. And again, when I died, it told me what that button was. So I'm trying the button here. Well, the buttons that allow you to interact and it's not letting me pick up the coffee. Keep in mind the note from my girlfriend said I'm supposed to come here get coffee and I was only allowed to get like a cup because you know I guess they're rationing off two and she's supposed to have one for herself or whatever. I guess she's at work. So I'm still trying at this point now I see like there's the fridge down there so I'm trying to aim to interact with it. Now moving my mouse pad down moves that little circular focal point you guys see and it's not moving. And I'm also pressing down to go back and it took a while to move like it doesn't react very well to the mouse or keyboard as well. And I guess that's a picture right there of me and my girlfriend, which is actually one positive thing I can say about this game. Good on you guys because apparently this game is about the struggle and surviving and you play as a white character. So breaking down the boundaries and stereotypes that minorities are all people of color because no, there's white people too. So good on you for that for the game. But this game is still complete crap. And so far, even though it's an alpha, I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. Cause as I said, the controls are crappy. Look, I'm aiming straight, I'm pressing up and I fall into the water and I'm still going to the right. I wasn't pressing any buttons that should have made me go to the right. Up arrow with the circular focal point going where it was should have made me go forward. But this game is, well, that was completely dissatisfying. But we said we were trying new things, right? Right? Well, anywho, on to the second game. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready, because this game is amazing. This game here is Secret Tears, and it's a JRPG that's actually created by um, RPG Maker. For those of you that's not familiar with RPG Maker, RPG Maker actually allows you to make role-playing games and all that stuff, and they created their own JRPG, which is really cool. You'll see battle system, how it works, the interactions, and all that good for the minute. I just want you to get a chance to see some of the intro, because this is actually a pretty cool intro, and I think it gives up to the game to actually see some of the cinematic scenes like this, all that good stuff. Look how amazing the graphics look too. And to think, this is an indie game. So, a little detail about this game. You actually use cards to do the combat system. And the number on the cards have to be higher than your opponents to actually be able to hit them. The swords are your attacks. The magic is actually your teammate's attack because she uses magic. Shield is the block. 
and feet is how you evade. So if you have a foot that's higher number, then you automatically dodge and all that good stuff. So it's a pretty cool system from what I've seen so far. Oh, and look at them. They are beasts. <laughs> we just hopped over the roof gap and they had to use the ladder to get across that's hilarious see this is the type of anime kind of comedy i'm talking about like just picture actually watching an anime where you see that you have a lot of skills and a lot of techniques and your opponents are the people you're running from in this case police or guards are just completely subpar like it doesn't get any better than that and this is one of the reasons i love this game so you look at the town here and it actually looks like a town in a standard RPG world. Like you can actually go around, explore everything. And again, the dialogue is hilarious. Like this section here, they're actually, he's actually complaining about having like jobs and how they're demeaning because he's supposed to be like this big master thief and it ruins his ego and belittle him and all that other BS but anyhow they're completely broke and she's telling them that we barely have enough money to eat so we need to take any job at the same time she just told them he was an idiot because you remember that ring he threw earlier he was supposed to throw a fake one to get them off the trail so they can get away and he actually made the mistake of throwing the real one so they have the fake ring and now they went through all those running through guards and then across that one guard fight we had just to get a fake ring because they threw the real one well he threw the real one which is actually way too funny well that will about wrap things up at this time we've i've actually shown you a decent portion of the demo for this particular game the only other thing i really want to show you is that you can actually choose through different stories of the game this is the demo, so you obviously can't, but that's why all of these books are here. So in the main game, you'll be able to do that. Anyhow, let me know in the comment sections below what you thought I bashed the caffeine game a little bit too much. And also what you think about this amazing game, Secret of Tears, because it looks fantastic. And I definitely want to continue playing this game. But anyhow, I've been Retro Bro, and I am signing out. Happy Columbus Day, everyone.